Hello, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Today, playing Boros Magecraft in Historic Best of One. Before I get into the deck, the usual YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe if you can. Thank you very much. And all the information about the deck list and timestamps are in the description, as usual. So a few weeks ago, I played a Boros aggro deck, very similar to this deck. Today, though, we're having some fun. We're playing two cards that are a little bit underappreciated and certainly not as powerful as some of the other cards that you can be putting in this deck, but they are a lot of fun. Let's start with those cards. So the first one is First Day of Class. I was really intrigued by this card when I first saw it, right when Strixhaven came out. It says, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and it gains haste until the end of the turn. And then it also has learn. Now this card, it requires a ton of mana. You can't really just play this out on turn two and expect any results. But if you are on turn four or turn five and you do have four or five mana, with Young Pyromancer, this card gets out of control. Now, of course, when you first cast First Day of Class, you will activate Young Pyromancer, you will make an elemental. Unfortunately, that first elemental doesn't benefit from that first cast. However, if you're able to follow it up with a few other one CMC spells, something like a Crash Through, a Shock, a Warlord's Fury, so forth, you can start making two, two hasty attackers and suddenly we have a wide board slamming in the opponent for a lot of damage. Now we mix that with another card that is super awesome, Leonin Lightscribe. This guy is going to pump up each one of our creatures and it also works with copies. That brings us to the second interesting card, it is Show of Confidence. I think this card is slightly better, that's why we're playing four Show of Confidence versus two First Day of Class. This card says, when you cast this spell, copy it for each other instant or sorcery and sorcery spell you've cast this turn. You may choose new targets for the copies, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature, it gains vigilance until the end of turn. So we're able to play this out, maybe copy it two, three, or four times, put these plus one plus one counters on some of our stuff, not super important. The important thing is we're gonna get those triggers on the Leon and Light Scribe if we have a whole bunch of elementals out on the board or maybe we have some of our other creatures out on the board, we'll talk about them in a second. Suddenly, we're hitting our opponent out of nowhere for 20, 30 damage and it's fantastic fun. Now, again, it's not super powerful, it's very glass cannony, but it's something a little different. If you wanna just have fun with this kind of uh, idea, I highly recommend trying this out. So the other cards in the deck, of course, are Dreadhorde Arcanist. This gives us yet another cast. And the cool thing about this card is we can target Dreadhorde Arcanist with a show of confidence, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, given the Dreadhorde Arcanist two power. Then when the Dreadhorde Arcanist attacks, we get even more show of confidence triggers. And that's when things get really silly. I put Selfless Savior and Life's Bounty in the deck simply to protect our two CMC creatures. All three of these creatures are very important to us, and if the opponent is able to shock or lightning strike or fatally push some of these creatures, then things kind of fall apart. So we wanted the protection in the uh, you know in the deck. Originally, I had a spell that gave our creatures protection from any color. I can't remember what it's called. I'm going to put it up on the bottom right now. Uh, it was working okay. We, of course, want to spell, uh, sling some spells, but I felt like having the extra bodies on the field kind of helped a lot. And then finally, Clever Lumomancer, because this card really gets crazy. When we are casting something like a Show of Confidence, you don't even have to put the plus one, plus one counters on the Clever Lumomancer because it's just going to get massive from all of these uh, copies of, of the Show of Confidence. The other spells in the deck, I think, are pretty self-explanatory. They're either protection spells or spells that are going to redraw us a card. The only one that's a little bit different is Shock. That's just in case we need to get rid of something pesky. Over in the sideboard, we just have a couple of lesson cards. The only reason we have these cards in here is because the first day of class is, in fact, a learn card. If we cast this out, maybe we need a body from the Inkling Summoning. Sometimes we need some removal. You know, that's the idea. Not a huge deal for the most part. So that's the deck. Going to take it through a couple of games, see how it plays out. Hopefully we smash some face. See you in the games. All right. So some Boros Magecraft in Historic. Best of one. You guys know how I feel about best of one by now. So we'll see how it goes. Opening hand looks okay. I hope to find the third mana source. Uh, I think it's... Probably okay to put the LC out first. 
maybe it was better to hold it back and try to go turn two, turn three, but we don't know if we're going to draw a land. We do draw the land, and the opponent is probably on a deck that doesn't have a whole lot of interaction, so I think it's very safe to put out the Light Scribe right now. That being said, the opponent is now three colors. We oh my goodness, I love what the opponent's doing. The flying deck, one of the decks that I really, really enjoy. Okay, well let's start with a Warlord's Fury. Pump up the team. Find a land, and let's do Crash Throw. Defiant Strike. Okay, let's get in for seven. Gain a little bit of life. And then, I think... I think I'm going to put this out on white, just just because I might want to have the Defiant Strike up. I don't know why. I, I doubt it will be a, a concern, but just to be safe. Opponent definitely has to be careful on this turn right now, because we could bring a lot of damage this turn. They're going for it. Alright. That's... Not a great card because both of our creatures are non non human. Still, let's Warlord's Fury. See what we draw. Nothing of consequence. Alright. So I think I wanna save the I wanna save the crash through for the next turn. This turn, if they end up blocking one of our creatures, not such a big deal. Okay, that's a good draw. Get in. Sure. No block. Amazing. Okay. So I don't... Yeah, I'll talk about that in a second. So we'll put this out. We are... Shields kind of down. We still have the protection from the Life's Bounty and the Self of Savior. But... If we can make it through next turn, draw something good off of the crash through or off the top of our deck, we'll be good. I, I, I was I was gonna say I was gonna rant a little bit. When you get first strike to your creature, it's a little bit annoying, isn't it? For some reason, it doesn't pass through to the next damage phase. It always has that little hiccup there. So the opponent decided to keep everything untapped, probably for the best. I still think I want to go for it. Oh my gosh, just drawing garbage. So again, we have a bunch of creatures that only one of them can benefit from the fight as one. A little unfortunate, but let's attack. We're still going to be pumping them up with the Leonin Light Scribe. They might try to put a lot in front of that. So I'm, I'm fine giving Indestructible to the Light Scribe. Yeah, this is, this is really, really bad for them. Um, I was thinking about bringing the Luris into hand, but I don't think it's necessary. Gotta find some action, though, off the top of our deck. The, the opponent... Well, maybe they didn't have anything in hand. Cool, great way to start it all off. Let's go to the next one. Oh, I had fun. Alright, match two with our silly Mega Prowess deck. Trying to go super wide with... First day of class and young pyromancer, exactly what we want to see. Alright, we'll keep it. We still have a long ways to go. But we can lead out on the Sifless Savior and Leonin next turn I think is okay. Actually, maybe it's going to be young pyromancer next turn. Protection with the Savior is always good. This card is just insane, isn't it? Yeah. Pelt Collector from the opponent, sure. Well, not a great draw, but we can go out with the Young Pyromancer. So I'm not going to attack in the Selfless Savior. Too risky to trade it with the Pell Collector. Okay, opponent is on a Counter's deck. Okay. So this Pell Collector is suddenly very big and very scary. No blocks. Take three. Take my lumps. I uh, don't like this. So we'll put out the Light Scribe and then hope next turn we can find a crash through or 
any of the cycling cards, though. Crash through is always going to be the best. I'm always calling for a crash through. My kingdom for a crash through. A second Conclave Mentor. Well, thankfully, that doesn't pump up the Pelt Collector. I'm not sure they're attacking this turn. They are attacking. Okay, yeah. Not a crash through. Well, gonna keep going. This could be really great if the next turn we do end up finding a one CMC spell. Things could get quite fun. The problem, there is a little bit of a nombo. One other thing I didn't cover in the intro is that the first day of class with Dreadhorde Arcanist also doesn't really work. Anything cast from your hand will allow you know the elementals to come in, get haste, and we can attack with them. But if we're already attacking with the Dreadhorde Arcanist, we bring something out of the graveyard. It's going to make a 2-2, but we just won't have that opportunity to attack. So I think I'm taking another 7. That's fine. It's friend. Feels good. Come on. Land. Not land. Oh. All right. That really, really, really hurts. So I think it's just going to be Luris, and then probably throw the Selfless Savior in front of something this turn. Although the Pelt Collector having Trample now is really questionable for our position. It, it'll be hard to grow the Pelt Collector anymore at this point. But we're really getting unlucky only drawing one. <sighs> All right, GG's opponent. <laughs> uh, little, little unfortunate. We drew the wrong half of our deck. We we drew all the creatures that we wanted pumping, and n one spell. We're not going to get anywhere with one spell. Last turn we could have done first day of class into Dreadhorde into first day of class again, but I don't think it was going to be good enough. Um, the opponent sh should just be putting these all on the Pell Collector. He could have given the Pell Collector plus 8, plus 8, made a 15. Alright. Ooh, whoa. Go to blocks. So, I don't... I don't know if I like this from the opponent. I mean, we're, we're in big trouble. And there's not a whole lot I can do. I'm going to have to give up the Arcanist, I think. Or is it the young pyromancer that I'm giving up? No. Gotta save the young pyromancer. You never know. Okay, fight to the bitter end. Okay. Hey, Warlord's Fury. So. Mm hmm. Mm <laughs> hmm. First day of class, we'll start with that. Sure, doesn't matter. Now the question is, do I, do I, I guess I have to go with the World Fury. I could do the Luris and make a 4-3 hasty Luris and I can bring back the Silva Savior, but it's not good enough. I think, I think the win is just Warlord's Fury into like craziness. <sighs> No, we needed to go a little bit better than that. Okay, well, opponent, you bested us. We only found a couple of spells. We can attack. Whatever. But, yeah, two two spells in the top 13. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Hmm. Easy blocks. We die on the crackback. It's close, though. See, even, even you know, near the end of it, things could get pretty dicey for the opponent. These, you know, if we drew a couple more, you know, spell, 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 with that last three mana, yeah, things would have been real cool. All right, no blocks. Let's go to the next one. Cool deck from the opponent like that a lot. All right. Match number three. Just got her. Heads pounded in by kind of our own deck, but also 
you know the opponent doing really cool stuff with counters. Opening hand looks cool. We got a couple of actual playable spells. We can start off with the Sacred Foundry. I think I'm going to go out with the Self as Savior because I'd rather have it on the field to protect possibly the Light Scribe next turn. Cycles from the opponent, sure. Well, control is not the best matchup for us, especially going second. I think I'm going to put out the, the Light Scribe. Get in for one. Pass it back. Really need a land here and need the opponent not to have a turn three. Oh. Well, it's better that I think our Lumomancer is getting hit overall. This thing can represent a lot of damage, though, so it would have been nice to sneak that one out. Okay, okay. So, Dreadhorde out. We attack in. Still not a land. Would have preferred to land there, obviously. Uh, hopefully the opponent doesn't hit there. Oh, they do. It's a tap land, though. Well... Got the same problem with the fight as one, not really working out with this. We have eight humans in the deck. Four Pyromancers, four Lumomancers. Unfortunately, we are a little short. So I think what I'm going to do, though, I think it's fine to go out with the Light Scribe. Because even if they Wrath us next turn, we can give Selfless Saviors Indestructible to one of them, and then the fight is one to the other one. Maybe they counter it here. Maybe they think they have the board wipe and they let it go. We'll see. They let it go. Uh, I'm going to attack only with the Dread Horde because I'm a little bit scared of a Shark Typhoon. I wouldn't want to lose myself a savior there. Here's the Wrath of God. Wrath of God. Right on time. So we protect there. We protect there. So first day of class is doing nothing for us right now. Let's throw out a Warlord's Fury. Let's throw out the other Warlord's Fury. Shock. How low can we get them? This is going to be another three. This is going to be four, eight. So 11 plus 7 is 18. I maybe did my math right. I did my math right. Hey, look at that. Love those turn 4 wins. Turn 5? Something like that. Next one. All right, match number four. Last game went very well. Uh, the protection worked out, and you can even get there with just two creatures. That's the power of these Magecraft cards. I'm going to keep this hand. I think it's a little risky. I think we might run into a similar problem we ran into in match two against the Abzan. I think it was Abzan counters deck. Wait, lead on the Inspiring Vantage into a Life's Bounty see what the opponent is on green I like green okay sure so we're shocking that in and then I guess we try to go wide all right one concern I have with this specific makeup of the deck is we have a lot of two CMC creatures or two costed creatures and it can get a little cumbersome when you do draw all three of your two CMC creatures. Um, so I think it is Light Scribe and we'll put this out on white and then next turn if we draw if we draw another source, another mana source, we can have some fun. We can go first day of class into 
Dreadhorde Arcanist into another first day of class and really you know, pump out a lot of damage, especially with a Llanowar Elf back. We are down to 10, though. We don't block well. Miss on that. Okay. Well, I think it's just Dreadhorde Arcanist and, again, hope to find it for the next turn. I don't know if we're risk at risk of dying here. I've been seeing a lot of budget lands lately. Really, really good for you know people taking it down a notch. Oh, please attack with all of them. All right. Oh no, that right has that. I was gonna say we we can just let it through and not worry, but we do have to block. So we block with the Alcide. Yep. Okay. Moment of truth. It could get real good. Okay. Okay. So, first day of class. Doesn't matter. Show of confidence. Put it on. Sure. Dreadhorde. Light scribe. Go to attacks. Show of confidence. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now these ones that we're making, obviously they don't do anything, but we are getting all these extra pumps from Leon and look. <laughs> all right, just just a bit of damage out of nowhere. That's what we want to do. All right, love it. Next one. All right. Match five, last one was awesome against the Gruul deck. That's exactly what you want to see. It was slow as slow, but once we hit that four mana, we really went off. This hand is garbage, two planes, and no creatures. Throw it back. Eve. Okay, throw it back. And I, we have to keep this one. I guess we do that and kind of hope it works out for us. Opponent playing very cool, Perforos. Sleeves, I like those a lot. All right, we might be in trouble because of our mulligans in this case. All right, we'll we'll try. We'll fight through it a little bit, but we might call this one a little early and go on to our sixth match. Gruel once again, sure. Mm, not the worst. Uh, you know what? I think I'm attacking. Part of me just wants to put Lurus in my hand. All right. So bluff the attack. If they had blocked there, I certainly would have pumped up the Luomancer, but I think I'm okay Lurusing. Hopefully they don't have a collected company here. Clothis. Oh, that's, we need a land. We need an untapped land real bad. Yep, yeah, that's the opposite of an untapped land. All right, well, Lurus comes in. Clothis is going to eat one of our Luomancers. Next turn, maybe we can get out the other Luomancer if they don't have a shock or a stomp. But I feel like the chances of that happening very slim slow <laughs> with Sweltering Suns. Hey, that's, that's all right. It's good to get that out after they decide to wipe our board. Yep. Stone Rain, get out of here, opponent, rude boy. This pawn's of garbage. All right, let's go out with this second Pyromancer attack in for three. There might be a chance here. Not if they have another Stone Rain, though. There's a question. Are you interested in land destruction? games i i do oh, i do like stone rain myself and i was kind of thinking about maybe doing one with stone rain i don't know well we'll do this hey the land there it is a very good land i'm not going to go full in because i want to save the fight as one 
just in case they have another sweltering sun, we can save a pyromancer and one of the elementals. Chandra. Okay, maybe the Chandra will try to kill a pyromancer. You and I are gonna take him out. That would be that'd be sweet. Oh, opponent, greedy. Probably not greedy at all. It was the right play. Okay, Lena Elf. <gasps> That's fun. Okay, we gotta send two there. And everything else face, right? Yeah, we don't have lethal here. We have to get rid of the Chandra. The opponent will need a hot draw next one, or they are really in trouble. This Leon and Light Scribe was massive right now. First aid class can be interesting. Okay. If it's a sweltering sun or something, I might I might cry. You ever see a grown man cry? <laughs> that might do it. Okay, glory bringers. Not great, because they can cook our lights. Oh, they made a mistake. It's over on the multi five against land destruction. Oh, and we found the red source, so we can keep going. <laughs> that was... If you see... If you're playing and you see a Leon and Lightscribe on the board, you kill the Leon and Lightscribe, okay? This thing is insane when your opponent has a, a long field. What a great win. All right, let's go to another one. All right. Match six. I'm jazzed. After that hard mull to five and pulling out a win against land destruction, oh, a few better feelings than doing that. Our hand, our mana is going to be a little bit of an issue, I think, uh, at some point in this game. But we'll see how it goes. Of course, Selfless Savior with the Leon and Light Scribe or the Young Pyromancer is always a good start. We have a couple of spells. Sure. Faithless Looting, so our opponent is probably Phoenixing. Nope, they're doing very, very bad things. So... I think I probably want to go Pyromancer. That seems to have been working out for me so far. I'll try that. Brainstorm. Digging. So we gotta get him gotta get him before turn four, probably. Otherwise I think we don't get another turn. Okay, that's good. Land off the top, please. It is a land. So we go out with the light scribe. I think we go. I think we're going for it, right? Maybe I'm not going all in though. I think I want to hold up a little bit of mana just in case they have something so I can pump. Yeah. I'm gonna be a little, little careful. And I want this on white for the defiant strike. Sure. So if they try to stomp the Leon and Light Scribe or Prismari Command for two damage, I can protect it with the Defiant Strike. Fight as one would be perfect here. So there's the Prismari Command as predicted. I think we'll do this. Make a 1-1. One, one. Ooh, first day of class. So if we draw a land here, again, it's really, really good. Even if we don't, I think it's... Okay. So what's the best way to do it? Is it first day class into fight as one or shock? They kind of do the same thing. Or is it shock into show confidence? I think it's actually this way. I don't want to waste too much time. I think this is probably the best though. And then we do this now because we want the new 2-2 two -two to come in with haste and be able to attack with it. And that's enough damage. That's another win. All right. 
one or two more. All right. I never. I didn't think I'd actually start climbing up <laughs> with my percentage playing this deck, but we're on a bit of a tear with it. It's really working out well. This hand, questionable one. We got to throw it away. I'm going to keep it. I don't particularly like it. I'll get rid of a show of confidence. Okay. Fable Passage for the opponent. Sure thing. Let's put this in tapped. See if we get some information about what they're playing. I mean, what's this going to tell me, really? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Fable Passage. What does Fable Passage in the Mountain tell you in Historic? Just is it? I think I'm okay losing one Pyromancer, so I'm going to throw it, throw it out. If they have a stomp. Oh, Opus. Oh yeah, okay. I, mean, I guess that makes sense. Opponent helping us ever so slightly. Okay, it's no longer, <laughs> no longer helping. Yeah, alright. Turn, turn three Mizics into magma opus i i forgot that that was a thing it's actually been quite a while since i've seen somebody use a mizzix mastery to do that just a little bit off my radar well i think i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna make just one baby hope they don't have a follow-up that's all my hope is untap land for the next turn that seems okay Sure, 4-4 is bad, but I think we can get through a 4-4. You've definitely seen in the other games, we can get through a 4-4. We can't if they have another Prismari command to kill our two creatures. Okay. So... <laughs> everything's worked out for this deck. Going first, having the turn 3 into the turn 4. This is crazy. We'll, we'll, we'll let the opponent have its have their fun. I could block here. I'm not going to bother. I, I think it's, it's very much over with these time warps. Let's play one more. Alright. So final... Final game with Boros Magecraft. I hope to end strong. It's been going really well, but perhaps we, we have been getting a little bit lucky. Opponent's going first. We only have a selfless savior. I don't think I can keep this. All right, this hand looks a little better. We're gonna throw away the first day class. First day class is really only great when you have the young pyromancer. We are against our my nemesis, Elves. In the last best of one video that I put out last Saturday with the Velomachus reanimator deck, it ended on an Elf deck just smashing my face. Felt real bad. And maybe we're in a similar situation. The good thing is, I can get out the Light Scribe. The bad news is we don't have any kind of trample to get over the wall of creatures that they're going to be inevitably throwing up. Still, this is a little bit of a slow start for the opponent. Hopefully, they're not drawing into too much. And we stive off their attack for a bit. <sighs> Dreadhorde's probably better here. Let's go out with the Dreadhorde. Really wish I had the third land. Always saying that. Okay, another Elvish Visionary. Not going to be too long before they can... Do that. I really wish Castle Garenbrig didn't line up so well with the Allosaurus Shepherd, but it definitely does. Attack. No attack. And no. Well, we get the land. Um, Crasher is really good, but. So are we dead next turn if we pass? If they have another land, they can use the Allosaurus Shepherd to pump. Everything's going to be sixes. And we can take... Yeah, we end up being in a spot where we have to chump block quite a bit. But we can throw out the selfless savior. I think I'm going to Warlord's Fury now. Ah. 
That's unfortunate. No land. Okay, gotta wait. Gotta survive one more turn. If they swing all out, we can hopefully block to survive. Okay. So, we're blocking a lot. Um, 17, yeah. So I unfortunately got a block. Three. But I we have one with the Leonin and the Dreadhorde Arcanist before. It would have been nice to have kept the Lumomancer on board. Land? It's a land. So what's the best configuration of spells here? Probably fight as one into show of confidence into show of confidence. And I don't know if that's lethal or not. I don't think it is. But... Yeah, I think I just, I have to go for it. I'm not going to survive next turn. <laughs> I haven't I haven't counted. Uh, do I have it? Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Wrap up. Alright, so everything went pretty well with this Boros Magecraft deck. We went and we played eight games, six and two. Losing to the counters deck was a little rough, but I think it was the deck didn't really perform. Again, we kind of drew the wrong side. You look at the breakdown of the deck, nineteen to twenty-two spells you, you know we should we should be drawing a little bit of a better distribution of spells unfortunately we only found two in that game there wasn't a whole lot that could be done and then the velomachus deck they had velomachus out on turn four they had a mizix mastery on turn three again what are you going to do in that case but the other games were great we had some hard mulligans we came back from behind beating the elves at the end there felt so good yeah just, I'm super happy that this deck has worked out. The card that, it had its day in the sun, first day of class, it performed well at times, but it does feel a little bit clunky. Um, I feel like Show of Confidence actually might be a real card when you are playing a normal uh, Boros Prowess deck with Leonin Lightscribe and Clever Lumomancer. I actually should consider this card in that deck and I will be doing that at some point this week. And maybe it works out. I don't know. I was really impressed with the show of confidence, especially when you're playing it with the Dreadhorde Arcanist flashing it back like we did in that last game. Things just get out of hand so quickly. I also really like the Life's Bounty and the Selfless Savior. I think they're great cards to bring in just to give a little bit of protection in the game against the Azorius Control deck. Having the Selfless Savior on the board to be able to protect the Dreadhorde Arcanist and then the Fight is One in hand to protect the Light Scribe. I think that's what happened in that game just a very nice little synergy there selfless savior not requiring any mana to dump into it to protect it something from destruction is just insane and i think this card uh, is definitely deserving of a spot in this deck overall super fun let me know what you think about this deck is it a meme first day of class show of confidence or could it be a real thing i don't know see you in the next one